Well, I hope that Jeff lives a long and healthy and vibrant life. Uh, with that said, I'm also throwing in my hat to be your future life partner in huh? 30 years. We'll play pickleball every afternoon on some Snoop gummies. I'll do you one even better. We live in Italy. I'll make olive oil fresh from, uh, I don't know how, how you make that. I don't know. Does that come out? Am I putting a little spout in a tree like sap? Yeah. I have no idea, but I'll figure it out. And we have time. You can pick up hobbies that you go gung-ho for every other week and then promptly forget about them. We spend loads of money and waste it. We'll have a woodworker station in our basement. You can be developing photos in a makeshift dark room in the pantry. You'll have some form of pottery going on. Uh, we'll just have really funny friends. Uh, who am I kidding? We will be the funny friends. Mm. And uh, absolutely not to us wearing any Winnie the Pooh or any Disney clothing mm. or having more than two cats. Unless they're strays, and we call them Mr. Chip, Potter, and Big Bertha. <laughs> also, absolutely not to you having any southwestern decor or dream catchers anywhere in the house or your car. Um, or a tattoo on your body, unless you already have one. Mm. And if so, that must have been a really good drunk night. Um, absolutely yes to running with scissors, if you know what I mean. Mm. And also cucumber gardens, if you know what I mean. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what that was, but I think it was a lesbian proposal. And you know what? Sister friend, I accept. Wow. Very specific. I love that you didn't leave any information about yourself except you live in Italy. And th this all sounds good to me. I'm in. And I love that you specified we would not be wearing any sort of Disney or Looney Tunes or Tweety Bird or Winnie the Pooh you know, memorabilia as adults. I don't know when that fucking started. But when you see a grown adult wearing a Winnie the Pooh t-shirt, enough. You know, did I love the Animaniacs growing up? I did, but you know what I'm not doing? Wearing it on a sweatshirt at 37. And I don't know, ma'am, you're clearly a lesbian. Is that, I, I've never really realized that trend amongst lesbians but if that's a trend then gals we got to stop it that's out of control i love what you said i'm into it you said well, i could have a dark room and get into photography fantastic i think everything's digital now but i love this idea we'd have a woodworking station great I'm kind of afraid of table saws. I follow a lot of those DIY uh, accounts where it's like women building, you know, a new armoire. It's always a woman going like, I went to Restoration Hardware and it was like going to be $65,000 to build the furniture for my bedroom that I wanted. So instead, I went out, bought a table saw, 65 other saws, 95, you know, guns, staple guns. And I real figured out I could do it myself. And I watched these 10 minute videos on TikTok of these women cutting the wood splicing it together, sanding it, staining it, putting it together, building the couch cushions out of like, you know, foam and, and outdoor performance fabric. And I watch them build these patio sets and I think that looks dangerous. Good for them, but I don't think I am going to enjoy the woodworking station. But babe, if you want to be our little woodworker, you got it, girl. How'd you know I'd be into photography? I love that you said we could have a little a little dark room in the castle. That's what I want. I want a little dark room to go work on my Polaroids. Wow. That was kind of uh, very specific, also very nonchalant at the same time. You know, I don't know who you are, but that's kind of what's exciting about it. A little international Love connection. And I'm going to be in Italy in like three weeks. So come find me, bitch. Okay? Stop. I'm blushing. You know, what have we done today? We've we've said that graduations are enough. Too much. You're out of your mind. You know, I said all these commencement speeches are just out of fucking control. I feel bad for attorneys and law school students. You know, the teachers also need to fucking relax with the with the summer break. And I also just got proposed to. And if that is not a full circle episode, I don't know what is. You know what I mean? I'm leaving it. My heart is full. I'm a little fearful for the rage I'm going to get from some parents and I'm sure some educators. I just, I'm nervous and excited. I've got butterflies and fear at the same time.
And that is one of the beautiful things about this podcast. You never know what you're going to get. And you never know what kind of antihistamine I'm going to be on. Thank you for being here. Thank you for loving me and letting me love you. (laughs) I'm sorry, guys.